Well hello there, it's a lovely dull day today and I'm down on the banks of the River Blackwater in Hampshire. Going to be doing some fishing just using a single feeder rod and the link leisure setup that you've seen on quite a few of my videos. Um, bait wise I've got maggots with me, casters, lobworm and um, I've also bought a few cage feeders with me so I can change from the link leisure and use a light ground bait mixture that I've got which is white liquidised bread and a little bit of bran so it creates a nice speckled attractant and just breaks up nicely on the bottom. Now it's been dampened down only very lightly. Uh, you don't want to dampen your ground bait too heavily, you don't want to make it to make it so it clods up, especially when you're going to be using it in the feeder, you want it to disperse nicely. Uh, the area of the river that I'm fishing, I'm going to uh, show you a bit later on, just downstream. It's a nice bend in the river and I'm just going to be fishing a semi-slack area of the river just off the edge of the flow. Nice bit of undercut banks and um, kind of area where you'd expect the fish to maybe lay up and um, get in under. So that's about the sum of it really. As I say, bait wise, lobworm, maggots, casters, nothing over complex, very basic and straightforward and just trying to focus on fishing an area of the river where I think the fish may tend to hold up. At least that's the plan. Anyway, I'm going to head downstream, um, get the gear set up and um, I'll catch you guys in a bit. Tight lines. Well this is the area that I'm fishing. Just off of the main flow here. I've got the branch sticking out and I'm just fishing into this area here. Not great depth, around about three feet in depth but some nice features. And um, I have got lobworm on at the moment. Uh, I've been using a light amount of ground bait, just maggots and casters, mixed with a light amount of bran and liquidised bread. And to that I've added a little bit of almond essence. Nice kind of wintertime flavour that does tend to work well, uh, especially given the low water temperatures. And um, that's the same kind of flavour you get in your marzipan or Battenberg cakes. And it is a very, very nice scent trail for the fish to pick up on. Now I am predominantly down fishing on the link leisure with lobworms and I am after perch. But you know, I've also gone with a light amount of ground bait. There's a bit of a two pronged kind of attack. If I don't pick any perch up there's a good chance that I could pick up a decent chub or get into a nice shoal of roach which is um, a nice way to kind of cover both bases or have your eggs in both baskets as such and um, yeah it's quite nice I mean it's very mild today and it's quite pleasant conditions very settled very still the river has fined down nicely and it's running pretty clear and um, does look rather nice but this area just here where I'm cast out just under there about 15-20 minutes ago there was quite a few bubbles there being kicked up. Something was definitely sifting through the mud, picking up the ground bait. Now, judging by the bubbles, I would have said it's got to be bream, and if it's not bream, I would have thought carp. But saying that, on a um, couple of trips prior, in the evening time, I did spot on the other bank a lovely olive tench, really deep olive colour. So it could be a, could be tench sifting about on the bottom. It's very possible. But I would have thought that it's a good chance it was bream or possibly carp. Who knows? I certainly am interested to find out. But you know, that's what I like about fishing rivers and flowing water in general. And I am predominantly a river angler. It's that air of mystery that you get, which you don't always get with still waters. For me, rivers are always evolving and always changing. And that, that air of mystery that you never know what's going to swim by or pick up your bait. You know, that is a very, very powerful attractant to me and a very exciting one. Anyway, I'm going to have a cup of coffee. I'll catch you guys later on. See you soon. Blackwater River Carp, 11 pound, two ounces. Really cracking neat. I'll tell you what, that did give me some freaky moments. I absolutely thought I was going to get done over. Uh, just let the rod tip absorb the pressure. And 
not try to put too much pressure on the fish while it was trying to have its own way at times. And uh, yeah, managed to slip the net under this cracker. What a beautiful winter river carp. Lovely Nick, as I say, just on single log one. A really aggressive steamrolling fight, especially on the light tackle. Absolutely super. I did figure that there would be a chance of an odd carp along here. And um, yeah, just laid in a light amount of uh, ground bait, a few maggots, a few casters, and then link measure out with a log worm. And wow, really, really superb. My heart is still beating 10 times to, to, to the um, second. Absolute palpable, palpable moments. And um, you can probably tell it's made me quite tongue tied. What a beautiful fish. Anyway. Let's get it slipped back, shall we? Utterly superb. Oh, just had a nice take on the lobworms and got a nice chub here. Three pound, ten ounces. That's just from a far bank uh, bush. That gave a very lively fight, but it was a very wary bite. Just plucking the rod to it, struck in, and um, yeah, rewarded with a very welcome chevin. Excellent. Well, as you saw there, I had a nice chub, and my inquisitive nature did get the better of me and I headed upstream to try a spot where there's some nice bushes on the far bank and um, yeah it paid off with that nice looking chub it was just on half a lobworm tail very finicky bite though not as um, bold as you would expect given the nice overcast conditions but um, still resulted in a nice looking chub like that and like most chub as soon as I set the hook it made a very powerful sprinting run to the undercover of the bushes and straight under where the actual roots are hanging into the water and um, yeah that was fairly hairy but I managed to extract it from that area and um, slip the landing net under it. And I do tend to like my chub as you know and um, yeah it was a very nice fish, very slate grey, not quite as gold and brassy as some chub that I've caught in the past but a um, nice looking fish. Anyway I've just come back downstream to the spot where I had that carp and I'm going to continue here into darkness, see if I can pick any more fish up. Um, maybe a perch or two as uh, the light's beginning to fade. Who knows? But I'll tell you what, it's been thoroughly enjoyable. And um, just adds even more to what I say always with the rivers. You can never tell what's going to be around the next corner. And there's always an air of suspense and mystery. And almost in a, a kind of electric static in the air you never know what's going to happen and that is for me why I do enjoy fishing the rivers as I said earlier on in my video and I can't emphasize that enough to you how much I absolutely enjoy fishing flowing water um, anyway enough of me waffling on I'm going to crack on and um, see if I can get a few more fish from this swim I'm not sure how well you're going to be able to see this I just had another take and it's resulted in another carp a nice looking common. That's two commons. This one's a larger fish. 13 pound, 15 ounces. What a beauty. Quite spawny here. That's a lovely nick. Absolutely superb. What a trip. Absolutely made up with this. Really excellent. Two river carp, two commons. Topped by this short and very dumpy character fish and it's in lovely, lovely condition look at that well, I tell you what, that was some, some scrap Whew. crikey, I did think I did think it was going to manage to run me off downstream I did have to let her go a little bit but, end result she's thankfully in the net and a lovely gold colour 
How brilliant is that? That's on Lobworm again, from the same spot where I had the other carp. What a beauty. Well, draining the last cup of coffee from my flask, and um, it's been a thoroughly rewarding cup of coffee as well, let alone a rewarding fishing trip. It's been really enjoyable. The chub, those two nice carp, uh, it's been, been superb, been a real stunning bit of fishing. Um, I do apologise for not having my head camera with me so that I could have filmed the action and um, shown you myself playing those uh, fish. But unfortunately I have sold my head cam. Uh, I will be able to in the future show you more head cam action as I will eventually be getting a replacement. But um, I do apologise for that. Uh, not a lot I could do about that. And um, my main camera that I'm using at the moment has just got the one battery. So I do have to be really sparing with how I use it because um, it's only a small ampage battery so it does tend to run down steadily if you start doing quite a bit of filming and I do need to buy a spare battery, backup battery as um, you do tend to chew through the batteries as you're um, recording your fishing video blogs and so forth. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this uh, short video. It's been, as I say, a thoroughly rewarding trip and I don't think you can ask for more as an angler than to have a trip such as this. Anyway, battery's just coming up now on the camera and it's going to run out. It's on red, last little sliver left. So until my next video, tight lines, take care, goodbye.